Hello, uh, welcome and um, welcome back. Um, sorry for the delay, guys. Um, life. Um, okay, right. We're going to be looking at. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, this is a tutorial-based research channel. Um, for those of you who are new to this, right? Okay, we're going to be looking at Titan. This is what it looks like. Um, obviously, not with the uh, added. Uh, annotations I think they call them whatever but it's um, first place we're going to look at is uh, this place um, okay so we're going to bear with me there's a lot here um, okay right so um, obviously pause and have a read I'm trying to give you the information so you don't have to search for yourself um, uh kid doke right so uh, this is um uh, about um titans lakes and stuff so um anyway this is the information um okay there's a few things going to be looking at the 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 quality of stuff and the the imaging um tools that they've they've been using and and some other bits which is um i may be wrong but um let me know what you think um about um there's some filters that they use and it's it's confused me a little bit and i i don't actually uh see the point of it but there we go okay so let's right okay so this is supposed to be a uh a lake of sorts and i just want to show this image actually comes in so a look um 1.7 gig so it, as i explained on the on the last video um they're just putting very low quality images onto a very big canvas shall we say type sort of thing so anyway but when you download this one and open it up I, i'm not showing you that because it's like five and a half gigs um so um i hope that would uh, oh, it is working i hope it's not too loud music and stuff I just can't stand the silence we've got to have some background stuff going on right so let's go back to here so you when you open that image up which i just showed you um <clears throat> it comes in about five and a half five and a half gig and this is it raw. Um, so what I did, I, I took a load of um, crops from the image and... Uh, oh, I, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to... Close that. Okie doke. Right. If my computer starts playing up again, that's because... We're going to unplug that as well. Right, so as you can see, very pixelated um, pants, basically. So, okay, let's go to this image, if it will let me. Yeah, okay. Right, so this, is, this has been enlarged. Now, what, what I was going to show you here, with images like this, um, as I've spoken about, it, you can pretty much get anything from any image. What I did with this, I would go to... Um, I would go to um, Blur, and that setting 1.5 is um, actually quite quite good you see what it's just done there it just takes that the the, the the um pixelation out of it and it is blurred but this is what we have to deal with and um if you watch the other videos then um, i'm sure you're aware of what i'm talking about um okay right now i'm not going to start on this one actually um, this is another um, 
crop from the same from here. So I don't know where that is. I think it's this area here. So it's had the blur, um, contrast, um, the dodge, burn, or burn rather with the tools. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, these are uh, the tools I use um, over here and stuff. Um, in the earlier videos, there's a lot more information about it. It's very, very simple. It's basic. You don't, you don't use a lot of tools. So, okay, let's get into this and have a look. Right. So I'm just going to um, move around, point some bits and bobs out. Um, and if you have watched any of the, the other videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and you know, there's a there's a way to to look at stuff. You need to give your your eye brain time to um, get used to what you're looking. You know, it takes a few minutes. I mean, it, it, for me, even even now, you know, it take, takes a while. So I'm just going to point some bits out, um, which are quite interesting. Let's see if I can do that as well. Yes. Okay. Right, so what we're actually actually looking for, as everyone knows, is um, they're just not natural looking uh, surface features. Um, and I'll be showing you some um, some of the the work in hand, so uh, you can understand what I'm talking about. Um, I will be zooming in and out. For those of you who use magnifiers um, and obviously different different devices you will use and things like that. So I'll just point out something. There's a lot to get through, so I want to um, I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on each one. Hopefully, he says. Same what I did um, with the Im image uh, initially. I haven't actually, they're not huge, these crops. You can see that's 1.2 gig. Um, they just seem to work quite well. So, okay, so we're looking across here. Just give yourself time. Um, I'm not gonna hang around too much, so you can just pause these and, um, and view them at your own leisure. And it's very unusual. Um, now these images, and something I'll show you in a bit, which which has confused me a little bit, are um, their radar images. I'm not sure if they're the, you know, if there's any ground penetration or anything like that um, but there's some information there's tons and tons of information um, about Titan um, so let's see if I can pull anything what am I on well So there's an element of um, uh, you know, perspective, you can see tops and the sides. Obviously it depends on what part of the hemisphere you are on. Just going to try and pull these out so you can get bit more of an idea. 
I do spend a lot more time doing this when I'm going through this myself. And the, the, the way these colours are coming out is just the way the tools work. On colour, that is. So there's some pretty unusual stuff going on here. And I'm sure if you've watched any of the other videos, you will notice the similarities. And we've been to quite a few places now. Um, and uh, yeah, they're all they're all looking reasonably uh, similar. But the descriptions they give of the. Um, moons or planets themselves uh, they're all very different and that's another thing I briefly had a look into it um, but how different the the environments are on each planet even though they orbit uh, environments on the diff on the different moons but um, even though they they orbit the same planet they're all very different but when we have a closer look as you know <clears throat> um, the similarities are, are, are crazy and yet again um, Titan, right? This, I, I suppose, a familiar one would be the Venus that which I did, um, which were radar images, um, and the density of the the uh, of the anomalies is, is just ridiculous. And one of the images I'm going to show you today, there's um, there's a 50 kilometer scale on it, and it's just it, is that right? I mean, it's beyond sort of uh, comprehension really so okay so I do a bit of uh, in and out for you and I'll point out some places now what I've noticed with uh, Titan um, there are lots of I'll show you when we get to the, uh, the bottom of this image, but there are lots of uh, lines and stuff, and, and there's some obvious editing going on. Um, it's very, it's very strange. Let's see if I can um, do this. No. Okay. I won't do that. I just don't like the uh, the. It's, it's not very smooth move, moving around these these images, and I do apologise for it. Maybe I should uh, bite the bullet and go Photoshop again. So it does have some nice features relation to moving around images but GIMP is awesome it's free it can get you started it's uh, it's very good and they're improving it all the time let's see if we can get it Now you can see that pixelated element coming in now. I'll show you where the pixels where they start. There we go, you can start seeing it pixelating now. So, I'll try 
try and do this as smooth as I can. Now this is a, a familiar structure again. These platform type things which I've mentioned before which have like which domes or towers on them. That, I mean that's what it, what it looks like. seem to be everywhere. So just give yourself time. To look at these. Um, I should have um, opened up the, the original of this because you can see very little. And these are, you can see a line running through these areas here, I think were pretty much blacked out. And that's something I want to show you. I've got, like I've mentioned about working in the dark areas, because they can hide a lot of information. Now, the, the, this is, I mean, this is just covered in crazy stuff. Now, these are, these are, this is one of the lines I was uh, talking about. Now, and through here. Another one through here. If you look here, where this line ends, through here, there's lots of stuff looks attached to it. Oh, that's a bit bright. And simply you can just go get rid of that. Yeah, the quality is low. But like I've said before, see like there's the this platform, we're looking down on it. You see? That would be the top the side. Now if you look at this for long enough, so it looks like there are maybe towers on it. Like I said before, I'm a little reluctant to um, say exactly what I think think they are because it puts uh, ideas into the viewer's head. And uh, at this moment in time, with you know, with very few subscribers and stuff. Um, And I leave it up to your your brain to uh, do some work. So here's another line here. Also looks like there's stuff attached to it, and maybe even like like I said, like this has been heavily be bleached out because I think what well, to me I think that there may be this isn't exactly where they are. But it looks to me as though there could be um, spires or towers coming out of it. And this is quite an interesting area here. I mean, the whole lot is 
I haven't worked on the full image yet. Um, because it just takes so long. You can see this running up through here. Here's another one of these little platforms. like a little spire there. Now on the other images I'm going to show you, you'll notice these lines. See there, it looks like a central area. You can see how this is just completely flat, like it's just been sprayed out. You can see I don't know if this would go under or over or what's been hit here. I mustn't get too carried away. You see, it's a little fire there and this is what really caught my attention here you see how this is Something's been blocked out, um, and I, I believe these might have very, very obvious large features on them. It's crazy. If you still can't see what I'm looking at, then just give it time. Another one of the platforms with a little thing on. I don't know what this is. It's like a very large something going on there.
it's like I was talking in um, <clears throat> some of the other images where you're looking at um, cliff edges and stuff, you know, where there's a dramatic change in tone or colour. Um, well, they're worth looking at. I've tried working on this area, I can't get anything out of it. But you can see where this may be part of something else. Okay, let's see if we can find something on here fresh for you. no one has ever seen before. Well, maybe let's, let's work on that. Let's work on that. And this is... I'm going to blast for it. Something they talk about a lot um, about these uh, these moons and stuff is the the wealth of minerals and gases and, and energy. Really, it's all that they're talking about mining, 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 and I think it's a load of crap, really. doesn't make sense to me. You know, worry, worrying about our world and spending billions and billions of dollars on uh, looking on comets and moons and stuff in, in relation to, you know, our, our, our our stuff is going to run out, so we need to find this crap. We have the technology here and now to solve all our energy problems. Um, there's an alternate, an ulterior, oh God, I don't know what I'm saying, um, motive to um, space research and I believe it might be something to do with all the stuff that I'm showing you okay we still are oh no we're on the second image now you can see there is a uh, stuff everywhere come on see this was pulled out of like darkness and the different colors the different uh, lightnesses it's purely to do uh, distract you they are the eye your eye there's something I'll show you because um, I've always steered away from colour quite a lot because it gets very funky like this um, but there's something I'll point out um, with uh, oh no we're not on the second we're on the first
So these areas that are covered in blue are the, the lakes, <coughs> which are ethane and, and methane or, or something bizarre. But I have my doubts. And I'll show you why. You can see. Okay, right. So, from this to this, I've done a fair bit of work on this, but what I was interested in is like these lakes of sorts. Um, So basically what it, what it's what it's saying to me uh, is that there is stuff in the lakes these aren't brilliant images and I do apologize I'm just going to point some stuff out um, It's difficult, it, you know, it, it's so dense again, there's stuff everywhere. So I'll just quickly move through, through this. And um, those lines which, are, which um, we looked at in the other one, they, they tend to feature in a, a lot of these uh, images. new to this the reason I'm doing this is um, so you can hopefully see why I'm seeing So what I found in these lakes, they call them, is that it's just uh, a quick look. Methane and ethane, lakes and seas. Um, but to me, um, they don't look any different, really, to the land features shall we say um, they seem to be full of the same constructions of sorts and do you know I've spoken about um, you know the, the darkening and lightening of areas um, <coughs> to distract from the, the features you're not meant to see. So what I'm just going to do quick, um, and this will make a lot more sense to you. Is that going to take flipping hours? You want to hear my computer now, it's grumbling away. Anyway, my favourite logo, Cassini Hugens. Um, okay, I wanted to see if I can get that image back. Doing this. So 
very weird. But this was it anyway. This is what I was saying. Like this bar here is 50 kilometers. Um, and it was one I found. I quickly found it last night or something. Um, and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to show you. But there's a lot more detail in this map, but I have done nowhere near as not, uh, uh, enough um, work on it. And this is very, you can see lots of, I mean, the blurred areas. Um, and clearly, it's completely, uh, covered in um, structures. In fact, I've never seen quite so many uh, of these little platforms with spires or domes on top before. I don't know what's going on with this. I think it's because oh, so. do excuse me. I haven't done a huge amount to this. Um, and there's clearly stuff everywhere. Look at that. Look at this. Constructed. I didn't realise this had so much in it. It was just, uh, it looked interesting to me. So,
So if you are having problems getting your head around this video, please do take a look at the other ones and it will make a lot more sense. Um, but I think the aim of uh, this video has been just to try and show you the the differences um, in qualities and how they present their images and, and, and speak about them. I mean, you know, we could go on for hours and hours about this stuff, but this is all there for you. I mean, you can simply download the images and um, do this yourself. Probably wouldn't recommend uh, these for, for starting on. But this is supposed to be 50 kilometers. Fifty kilometers. So, I—I I, I mean, I can't get my head around the scale of stuff. If this is correct, I mean, geez, it's just nuts. Let's look one of those. The little spire on top. So what's that? A kilometer big, maybe. This is why I'm finding this stuff more and more interesting because the more I read into it and the more information that they. give out just you know the contradictions in the information and the and who are these researchers that accept these de-speckled images which are just pants And it apologies, I'm apologizing, this is my computer apologizing. Ugh. I thought it was alright. I was supposed to do this a few days ago. Um, but so we've looked at a number a number of images and um I think I will, I'll choose a image of Titan and do it at a later date, but spend a lot of time on it and um, see if we can get some um, decent stuff out. I mean, this is crazy. This would be a fun image to uh, look at. Look at it. Now, oh, what is going on here? Anyway, see this area, it's all it's very fluffy. There's uh, quite a lot of detail to be had in this image. 
So take all these uh, starting points and stuff. Um, just wanted to show you uh, another uh, another Saturn moon. I, th I thought this was a Jupiter moon, and um, the last one I did was a Saturn moon as well. So uh, we'll be going somewhere else next. So I think I'm near near enough covered up. I'm, I'm sorry if it's brief and difficult to view. Um, but uh, that's what I have to deal with sometimes. Let's just quickly go there. Keep seeing stuff. So I'm hoping when I do this that you can see the formations developing. Very strange stuff. And I can see what this pretty much without having to do much to the image at all initially so if you were a researcher how the hell would you miss this stuff please tell me <laughs> you don't have to tell me it's all very obvious Crazy, I mean, look at it. Look at all this. Could go on and on and on. Okay, um, let, let me know if you think this was a bit of a mess or a, but it has to be, it has to be done, we have to show the, the difficult stuff, um, because it's there. see this let me know how the magnifiers work on this as well that'd be really cool to get coat. See it just flies, flies, flies. Probably I've probably been sitting here for about two hours, haven't I? See look at this. What is going on? Okay. Let's leave it at that. I'm sorry if that was a bit of a mishmash. Um but great, okay. Um if you enjoyed it please um, like subscribe and share it tell someone about it go for one of the other ones if you bit make a bit more sense um, but I'm hoping to do the next the next um, episode the next video um, this evening so it'll probably be out in the next couple of days and there will be a tutorial coming as well so um 
thank you very much and um, I'll see you soon.